I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. Aurora police your, need your help finding this man. They identified Jose de Jesus Montoya Villa as the suspect in a deadly church shooting. On Friday night, a woman was shot and killed and two pastors were injured at the Iglesia Faro de Luz Church. Police are asking anyone with information on his whereabouts to call them or Metro Denver Crime Stoppers. There's a $2,000 reward for information. Students in the Douglas County School District are planning a walkout tomorrow. This is in protest of the four new school board members voting to fire longtime Superintendent Corey Wise. This comes after Douglas County teachers held a sick out last Thursday, forcing the district to cancel classes for the day. The Table Mesa King Supers location will reopen this week. It's been closed since last March after the deadly mass shooting where 10 people died. There will be a reopening ceremony Wednesday morning to honor all of those victims and the store will officially open immediately after that. After a chilly Sunday afternoon with highs only in the 30s, we're going to pop right back up to 50 degrees for our Monday. It'll be mild and dry for the afternoon. Kiddos, though, it'll be cool in the morning on the way to the bus stop. 25 degrees, 50 on the way back home. It'll be nice and mild. 47 with mostly sunny skies into Tuesday. So if you're out and about getting some fresh air, temperatures will be in the 30s up through mid-morning, and then we'll be into the 40s for the rest of the afternoon with that high of 47 degrees. We'll be at 48 on Wednesday. Those 50s return on Thursday and Friday with a drop in temperature on Saturday, 41 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. And this has been your Denver 7 on a minute update. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Allen.